You know, the first thing you learn as a teacher is that if a kid is going to act out and give you a hard time, the worst thing you could do is pay attention and say anything to that kid because he just knows that he got under your skin and he'll keep it up. You think popular travel up. websites show you all hotels, right? What is this? Well, they don't. Actually, you're kind of hotel blind. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, the cat's out of the bag. The Rev wanted to sponsor a, a getaway, a religious retreat, and he was checking out information online. On Trivago. I want Trivago. Show you different hotels. Some websites may only show you these, while some apps I've never show you those. Yet. But because Trivago compares hundreds of sites, That's only Trivago shows no you a better anymore. overview of available hotels. And that's one more way Trivago helps you find your ideal hotel for the best price. Hotel Trivago. Why are you wasting time on this? Oh, and don't forget, keep in mind, I am going on vacation three yes. weeks from today. I know. You're going during uh, the Passover break. Yeah, going to Florida. Yes, I know. I think uh, that's it's a great time of the year, first of all. My friend told me that it's in the 80s, low to mid 80s, right now, almost every day. Very low yeah, humidity. I spoke, very, I spoke to my uncle today. Very low humidity, so you'll have a great time. I just hope it doesn't rain on the day of the wedding. Hey, listen, you were Jewish long enough to know. Jews have an experience. Have a, that's good luck. I know, but this is not a Jewish wedding. You know, if you walk into the synagogue and you step in, step in dog poop, that's good luck. Yeah, I know. You know, everything, everything is good luck. <laughs> everything. Even Friday, <laughs> even Friday the thirteenth is good luck for the Jews. Yeah, I know. It is for me too. But anyway, for you too. Yeah, I was born on the thirteenth. Is either that or very bad luck? What is the other? <laughs> but you don't know if it was a Friday. No. I was going to say, was it a Friday when you were born? I have no idea. I know I was born on a Thursday. I don't think so. I think it was on a Wednesday for some reason. I was born, I don't remember the day of the week. I have to find my birth certificate, but at 8, 8.32, 10, either 8.32 or 10.32 on October 7th in the morning. Now, it doesn't mean much to me, except that if somebody was working up my astrological chart, you know, they, uh, the two hours makes a big difference. It does. I know. It does. Gales, what year were you born? 1950. 48. I'm ancient. I used to tell my students that I had socks and underwear older than them. Felix, you were born on a Monday. On a Monday. Okay, good. Thank you. What day were you, you born on? A yeah, maybe a Tuesday or a Thursday. I don't know. I'm looking it up now. What a gal. Well, what did you think of my car? Yeah. And I have to find my birth. I, I, I really, I, you know, for years I used to know the time. Now all of a sudden I say it's You were born on a Thursday. That's it. See, that's a good day. That's the day they take the Torah out. I thought okay. they took the Torah out every day. No. They take it out, you know, Saturday, and they take it. Because my when I got married the first time, my Ufruf, okay, the religious part of it in synagogue, because we went back to our old synagogue in Brooklyn, okay, where my father mm -hmm. was known uh, they take it out at like 6:30 in the morning, and it was a th it was a Thursday, and from there I went to work. What All I know is I don't remember how how soon after I was born I was named. They gave me my Hebrew name in temple. Never used it. And what was now you? I'm Catholic. What was you? You remember it? Esther Malka. Let me see. Ellen's Hebrew name is Ethel. 
And my first wife's Hebrew name was Lee Begitel. Because Both my cousin, the cousin that's the same age as me, and I have the same Hebrew name because we were named after the same. My person. great grandfather was her grandfather, so she got the name first, and then well, her name is Ellen, Ellen Mary, and my name is Elisa Michelle. So what they did with me. Because my great grandfather's name was Elias, is they just switched the A and the S around. Mich- Shelly, where they got some, Michelle for me, I think they took that from my father. Some but names, I'm not hundred percent sure. Some, some names go together very well. I have to tell you, like my sister is Lisa Ann. My other sister is Tina Leslie. I have a cousin, Elise Terry. And uh, Elisa Michelle sounds sounds good. It sounds good to you. It's like yeah. Mary. It's like Mary Ann. Or Mary Ellen, you know. I mean, s- hello. I'm here. Okay. You know, I I recently had uh, what did I have? I had a chest X-ray when Ellen was in the hospital because I was coughing up a storm. So the one of the girls who was very helpful to me, I said her name is Lisa. I said, let me guess. I said. It's either Lisa Ann or Lisa Marie. She said, yeah, my parents are really very, you know. Original. She's Lisa Marie because she said, I said, yeah, because my sister is Lisa Ann because she's Jewish. I said, and Lisa Marie is if you're not Jewish, you know. It's more like, Italian when you're Lisa Marie. I know. Anyway, so let's go back to uh, politics. We were gonna, we had a good conversation going there. Yeah, we only have about ten minutes or so before the challenge. Call call. No, he said fine. Oh, I thought you said he wasn't sure if he can call. No, he said sure. I said, would you mind calling in closer to ten o'clock? And he said, no, nah, sure. Oh, I thought you said he he would try. He didn't know. I guess he consulted the stars and uh, you know they no, said no, I, everything's I, I in al- said, everything's in alignment. You know. I thought you said no, he couldn't. No. Me. Usually he tells us in advance. The fact that he wanted to know what the show was about <laughs> tells me, you know, that he has ideas of calling up, which is good. You know, as long as we get our first hour in. Yeah, we get a, you know, now that we're down to one show a week, which is fine with me. Believe me, that's that's all I can tolerate. You know, we mix up, we mix up uh, politics and in religion. You know, I was talking to, uh, I don't, I'm not going to say who it was, but it doesn't matter. And uh, they were talking about the show, and they asked me, why do you do the show? Do you get paid for it? <laughs> I said, no. Is there a chance of you ever making any money on the show? Nope. Then, you know, what makes you do the show? I enjoy it. I said, you know. You know, it's, it's also a good way to vent. You know, yeah. if you're feeling a certain way about, especially politics, you know, uh, can well, all it's, things... It's, it's a good therapy. It's yes, therapeutic. It is. No, thank you. No, no, I agree. I, I always tell Mark. Most I definitely. I have, to, I have to leave reality for an hour or two. This is my escape from reality. You know, my day is uh, I get up, go to work. After work, I go to the hospital. After go to the hospital, I go to sleep. And that's uh, and that's what I do five days a week. I'm never home anymore. I'm at either the hospital or work. And this is my. You know, to... ever since I stopped working, I don't have like I, I. I mean, yeah, I see some. I see my friends and all once in a while, but I don't have like that adult time where I had when I was in an office. So this to me is more like my. Therapy of being with adults. You escape from your kids and your family and everything. Exactly. And what's good about it is it's at night, so she's in bed, whether she's sleeping or not, I don't know. But, I mean, she, you know, she's in another room and I'm in here and it's great. Yeah, but what's my excuse? I leave my family to get away from that bullshit and then I come here and I'm faced with Felix, which is another bullshit. You know, I mean... It's uh, different bullshit. Huh? It's different bullshit. Well... You know what? It's a catch-22. You're leaving one to go to another, and then you go back. Felix, your bullshit is childish bullshit. 
It is. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> you look so anyway. So we had a, you see, well, this guy was really pushed to me. I mean, do you have no chance of making any money? Can't you advertise on your show and have people pay for it? Yeah, does he want to have a com- buy a commercial? Ask him if he wants to buy a commercial. Yeah. I said, no. He said, uh, I don't have, an, I don't think I have enough listeners to make it worthy of a, uh, of a I said, besides, that's not, I don't care about that. That's not why I do the show. We do it because it's fun. Yeah. The- First of all, it's our show. So we could say whatever we want. You know, you may not like it, yeah. but that's okay. We can even make a, a market off as explicit and then curse on it if we want. No. No, 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 no. no that that sort of ruins it. We've never done it. No, but then you get all the crazies calling up, you know? Like when the few times we had the couple of crank calls. Yeah. You know. Well, I was listening. Uh, I think you listened with me one of the shows that uh, the woman curses and they have, she gets like thousands of listeners very big. Yeah, you told me. Yeah. Yeah, and I listened and, and to her. And the conversation, yeah, but the conversations, are, you know, I mean, they, she may curse, but there's no crank callers. Well, it's just our luck. Yeah. Hey, look. Uh, so just she, you know. Basically but don't forget, she, you told me that her husband was relatively well-to-do, and this is what she does for eight hours a day. I did. And she makes money on it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I don't remember saying anything. She's got quite a few shows on during the course of the week. Oh, you I, know, we have to squeeze this in. Yeah. I don't know that. There's a lot of them that do. You know, they have you know, they, you know, they have thousands and thousands of listeners, and you know. We have the one guy that does very well. He, uh, the guy Goodman, he, he transmits from uh, Iceland, but he's American. He has a very popular show. Yes, show. I remember you mentioning him to me. Called the news guy. He he does very well. He's the guy with the beard. No. Oh. This guy's a news guy. He looks like a news broadcaster. Very, you know, <laughs> the profile picture I saw of him one time. All right. Well, just want to let the challenger know that if he's listening, he may call. We're ready. You know, one ringy dingy, two ringy dingies. As I still uh, think he told you he wasn't sure he can call. Uh, you're doubting my word here. Yes, Jesus. I'm doubting your word. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Uh, challenger, I never heard from you. I hope all is well. Can we expect some input from you on tonight's show about ten? And he said, maybe, Mark. I say, and then he says, I hope to be on. I said, if you can, Felix and I will hold the fort for political, you know, politically. So he didn't give you... And he said, okay, so you don't want me to call until 10. I said, do you mind? This way we can talk some politics first. And he said, sure. That's well, all. he doesn't usually call until 10 anyway. Lately, yeah. And no, that's fine. But... I mean, look, he has young children. and he, Well, the other day a... he called before 9, before the show started. Well, and when we asked him, you know, but I, I, I mean, I, you know, he's got to help his wife put them to sleep and whatever, you know. I mean, that's okay. Besides, I mean, I can't. Uh, sorry, uh, Chad, but I can't take two hours of you. It's too much. And that's not a nice thing to say. I said sorry, Chad. Yeah, but you don't have to say it at all. See what I got to put up with, Elisa. Well, that's, that's what you told me. <laughs> then I have to make excuses for him. That's what you told me. I never said that. Yeah. Yeah. Liar. Your nose is growing. I'm the liar. Yeah. yeah. Let's call let's tell the call at ten. This way we can have an hour of peace. <laughs> no. It, no, especially look, it makes a lot of sense, especially since the Monday show is now defunct. You know. When are you gonna talk politics? You guys, you guys aren't gonna do Monday at all? I, I may go back to doing it a little bit. I'm not, but you know Or maybe Tuesdays, this way you could do it, Lisa. Uh, yeah. I know Chad gave up his show. He said he couldn't do it, so... He, I don't think he ever really tried. Well, he did for that one or two weeks when he yeah. had that guy. But like I said, he was more <laughs> interesting than that guy. All that guy was interested in doing was plugging his his program. Yeah. I don't see what the big deal was. I didn't think he was... Well, Chad really liked him. Chad. Yeah. I mean, he was like a mentor, I guess, to Chad. Yeah, you know, they, but I think Chad can do very well by himself. He doesn't need. Yeah, I know, but I'm just you know, saying. I, you know, you know, all Chad really had to do was read a little bit of the Bible and. Yeah.